Okay, finally for uh, lesson 116, example four, two dice are rolled. What's the probability, probability of getting a sum of seven or a sum greater than eight? First of all, probability, if you recall from algebra one, probably eighth grade math before that, um, probability is the number of successful things over the number of ways anything can happen, okay? And um, if it says two dice are rolled, this chart that we made before is the chart we're going to use. What the top row represents is what we got on the first die. What the left hand row represents is what we got on the second die. So if you roll, you might get a one through six on one die, you might get a one through six on the other die. You add the two dice together to get the overall value of the roll, right? So if you roll two dice, you roll a two and a five, that's a seven. If you roll a five and a six, that's an eleven. Okay, so that's how that works. We're playing some type of board game. So for part A, it says the probability of getting a sum of seven. So what we're looking at here is within this square, that's every possible outcome. And if we count those up, there's 36 of them. So the bottom number on this is going to be 36 every time. When you're rolling two dice, the, the bottom number is always 36 because there's 36 outcomes. There's only 11 different numbers there, but 36 numbers altogether. Some numbers happen more often than others because there's more ways to do it. There's only one way to make two, but there's two ways to make three and three ways to make four and so on. So those numbers are more frequent and therefore they're more likely. So if we want the sum of seven, all we have to do is count up how many sevens there are. And there's six of them. And six out of 36 reduces to one six. So that's the probability of getting a seven when you roll two dice. Be careful when you're counting, only count the end result, don't count what you got on the first die or what you got on the second die, only the sum of the two dice are the outcomes that we're considering. For part B it says a sum greater than 8, so the probability of greater than 8, what's greater than 8 look like? 9, 10, 11, 12. 9, 10, 11, 12, those four are all greater than 8, right? So this little triangle over here represents what we're looking for. In that triangle, there's a total of 10 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And there's still 36 outcomes possible altogether on two dice. And if we reduce 10, 36 by 2, we get 5 18 Always reduce lowest terms, um, but that's how you do those problems. Number of successful things, number of things that fit this description on top, how many ways to do anything on the bottom, reduce fraction, that's probability.